Hey, I'm Phyllis. My website is southernfrugal.com. Well, today we're going to make for our main meal a recipe that was sent in by Candidi33. And she sent that in as a comment on 92818. So we're going to make it. I'm going to read you the uh, directions. Uh, first of all, she said to butter a casserole dish. Uh, slice three red potatoes and one onion. Use one can of corned beef, one small cabbage, one half stick of butter, and layer the ingredients in the dish starting with the cabbage. Salt and pepper on each layer. Uh, put lid on the dish and bake at 400 degrees for 45 minutes. Remove the lid and sprinkle with French fried onions and bake 10 minutes. All right, let me show you the ingredients. Hold on. All right, here are the ingredients. Uh, half a, a stick of uh, butter, which would be about four tablespoons, three red potatoes, an onion, cabbage, and this is French fried onions, and a can of, I'm using Hormel corned beef. All right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and slice my cabbage up, but I'm going to actually parboil it just because the cabbage was kind of sandy and nasty, really. I had to peel a lot of the outer leaves off, but it's a small cabbage. We're just going to parboil it for about five minutes and drain it, and then we'll use it in the layers. And I'm using a 9 by 13 casserole, so I'm thinking that'll make about two layers. All right, y'all, we'll be back, and let me get this set up. Let me uh, peel the potatoes and slice up that cabbage and I'm going to parboil it and then we'll be back. All right, we are back. We've got our potatoes all peeled and sliced and I even sliced the uh, corned beef. I took it out of the can and sliced that too. I also had that in the refrigerator just so it would be easy to slice. So we're going to start out the layers with the layer of the cabbage. I did par cook for about 10 minutes. Still warm. And I'm not sure what the layers, how they should be, you know, what should come next, so I'm just going to guess at it. So I'm going to uh, put the corned beef, and I did slice it, but I'll break it up a little bit. going to use about half of it. And by the way, I do like the uh, Hormel brand. It doesn't have as much fat, or it appears to not have as much fat. And my oven is preheated to 400 degrees. And this dish is a 9 by 13. All right, and so I'm going to make the next layer some of the onions. Just going to break those up like that. I can't wait to have this. So we're going to actually bake it for about 45 minutes at 400 degrees. So we're going to take it out and put the uh, fried, French fried onions on top and bake it another 10 minutes. So, all right, next we're going to put on the potatoes. And I did slice them thin. And this is going to of course, sink down once it starts cooking. All right. I'm going to put a little salt on the, pot the potatoes, just a little bit. And next, we're going to put the rest of the cabbage on. Spread that out. It is still warm. Go back with the uh, corned beef again. I'm just kind of breaking those slices up a little bit. And then we're going to 
use the rest of the onions. Just breaking those up into rings. six to eight people, really. Of course, it's going to go down once it starts cooking. All right. Put a little bit of salt on those potatoes again. Not much, though, because I'm sure that corned beef is salty. Now we've got the, I melted the butter, and we're just going to pour that over the top of this. Like that. And then we need to cover this, and I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil, because I don't have a casserole that actually has a, a, like a glass lid. So we to cover it up. Bake it again for 45 minutes at 400 degrees. Now, I have used my uh, Pyrex dishes at 400 degrees many times, so I don't worry about it breaking in the oven or anything. My sister always puts hers on a cookie sheet in case it would break or something, but I've never had one break in all these years, so. And mine are the kind that look green around the edge, but it's fine. All right, y'all, when uh, this is cooked for the 45 minutes, we'll be back. All right, we have just taken this out of the oven. Let me check and make sure that the potatoes are done. Oh, yes, everything is very tender. Smells really, really good. All right, we're going to put the... Uh, French fried onions on top now. Smells really, really good. That was the dogs chasing each other in the kitchen. I think I'm going to use this whole pack. So we're going to put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes. And we're going to also cook some uh, biscuits at the same time. They're going to be canned biscuits. Anyway, we'll show you that in just a second. So let me get this back in the oven. All right, we've got the um, meal in the oven. But I wanted to show you all a little something that uh, I saw on TV when I was waiting in the Time Warner or Spectrum office to get two new remote controls. So I've got my own and Mr. Bucky's got his own, which is wonderful. But anyway, uh, I, I don't even know what channel that uh, TV was on, but what we're going to do is use some of the Grands, the Pillsbury Grands, and I think there are five biscuits in here. So let me show you all what we're going to do. Now, the uh, man that was making these was actually making, uh, I think they're called hot cross buns, but I'm going to do something different with them. Should be five biscuits in here, yep. All right, so what we're going to do is take one of the biscuits and just turn it over. Pinch it together. Now what he did was do this and then he, he uh, put some sweet icing or whatever on them. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put them in the oven with the uh, little corned beef and cabbage type casserole. While the uh, 
the onions are getting a little brown. So again, you want to take it and bend it over and just pinch it together and then bend that over so you've got kind of a round biscuit. Just pinch it together on the bottom like that. Yeah, there were five biscuits in this little pack. But I'm going to do it different than what he did it. But I thought what he was doing was made, it, it was a you know good idea. Just pinch them like that till you've got kind of a round ball, really. Pinch that one a little more. All right. So now I'm going to take my knife. I'm going to cut them like that. Like that. And again, like that. And then just cut them across. Now I'm using a serrated knife. Let me move y'all closer so you can see. All right, I'm going to take it like that. sitting upright. That, you're really kind of cutting through that top layer. Cut that one and then cut it across. All right. And now what I'm going to do, I'm hoping this will work, is put some cheese right down in the middle of them bunch of cheese like that. Like that. And I did grease my pan just a little bit in case that cheese comes over the top of them. So that's about, I don't know, a half inch by an inch piece of sharp cheddar cheese. Now what he did was just cut them in two like this one and then bake them and then he put uh, some icing on them. Alright, y'all, right, we're going to see if this is going to work. Alright, y'all, we'll be back in, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes because I'm going to make the tea and everything for our meal. We'll be back. Alright, I just took this out of the oven and I'm going to taste of it. Mr. Bucky's at the post office and he probably won't be back for another, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. So I'm going to taste of this and then we'll show you what it looks like on the plate. There it is. It's very, very hot. Here it is. Hush, y'all. Hey, hey. All right, I'm going to taste of it. It's really hot. Too hot. delicious. Oh, I can get more. Mm. It is absolutely delicious. Super hot. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It, it is just super, super good. Y'all got to try this. Mm. And those onions just really make it really good and everything is super done and super tender yeah mr. Bucky's gonna love this all right we'll be back when I'll get it on the plates and show you what it looks like and we're also got some of the banana pudding all right see you all in a minute all right here's the food on the plate this stuff is absolutely delicious and I thought those biscuits turned out really really well there are some of the banana pudding that we're having for dessert and um, I think some of y'all from England asked me why I go ahead and serve it like this, the dessert and everything, because no one wants to get back up and come into the kitchen to get their dessert. Anyway, there's our iced tea, and we've got them in the uh, silver buffalo glasses. And you see, I, they've been sitting out probably 10 minutes, and there's no sweat on the glasses. I love them. 
there's my plate. I know Mr. Bucky's going to absolutely love this, so I gave him more than me. There it is. All right, y'all, we will see y'all next time. And thanks so much for the recipe. Uh, y'all can leave recipes in the comments section if you'd like. Make it one of your best recipes, and we will see if we can make them. All right, y'all, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.